If you are using a Mac Mini, there is one accessory that almost nobody talks about, but once you add it to your setup, you'll wonder how you ever managed without it. This is a docking station from Ugreen, and in this video, I'll show you why this might be one of the most practical upgrades you can make for a Mac Mini. Let's dive in. The Mac Mini M4 doesn't give you regular USB ports, so if you're using keyboard or mouse receivers, you're forced to plug in a Type-C to USB dongle and that means wasting a valuable Type-C port just for that. This docking station solves that by connecting to the Mac Mini's Thunderbolt port and instantly giving you multiple USB ports to work with. Watch the video till the end because there are a few important details you shouldn't miss. Let's unbox and see what we get in the box. You get the usual paperwork and user manuals. There's a heatsink included for installing an NVMe SSD. I'll be using this and we'll get to it later in the video. Ugreen also includes a small, handy screwdriver for the SSD installation, which is a nice touch. And finally, the dock itself. Up front, you get two USB-A ports that support up to 10 gigabits per second transfer speeds. There's also a full-size SD card slot which makes it easy to transfer photos or videos directly from your camera to the Mac. Along with that, you get a micro SD card slot as well, something that's becoming increasingly rare but still very useful. At the back, you get two USB-A ports rated at 5 gigabits per second. These are perfect for keyboard and mouse receivers or any low bandwidth dongles you want to keep permanently connected. You also get another USB-A port that supports 10 gigabits per second plus two USB-C ports each capable of 10 gigabits per second data speeds. All of this is added using a single Thunderbolt connection to the Mac Mini, which is a very reasonable trade-off considering the number of ports you gain. There's also a nice ergonomic benefit here. Once the Mac Mini is placed on the dock, the power button becomes easily accessible. Normally, you'd have to lift the Mac Mini every time just to turn it on. And finally, Ugreen has done a great job matching the dock's design to the Mac Mini. The finish and texture blend in so well that it looks like it was designed as part of the same product. Now comes the hero feature of this dock. At the bottom, you get an NVMe SSD slot and Ugreen includes a heatsink in the box, so you don't need to buy one separately. In my Mac Mini M4 review, I said that going for a higher storage variant of the Mac Mini M4 isn't a wise choice for most people. And this dock is exactly why. You can add fast NVMe storage externally at a fraction of the cost while still getting performance that's more than good enough for everyday use, media, and even editing. Now let's open it up and install the NVMe SSD. I'm using WD Black SN7100 2TB NVMe here. I'll be posting a separate video on why I chose this SSD along with detailed speed tests and real-world editing tests, so stay subscribed for that. To install the SSD, line up the NVMe with the M2 slot and insert it at a slight angle. Push it in until it seats properly. You'll usually feel a gentle click when it's fully in. Once it's seated, press the SSD down flat and secure it with the retention screw at the end. Next comes the heatsink. Peel off the protective plastic from the thermal pad, align the heatsink directly over the SSD and place it evenly so it makes proper contact across the surface. Finally, put the bottom cover back on and tighten the screws to close everything up. Now, connect the dock to the Mac Mini using the Thunderbolt port and we are ready to power it on. Once the Mac Mini boots up, macOS will detect the enemy SSD and prompt you to initialize it. Click Initialize and this will open Disk Utility. Under External, you should see the WD Black SN7100 listed. Select the drive, click Erase and give it a name. For the format, you'll see several options on screen. APFS, APFS Encrypted, APFS Case Sensitive, APFS Case Sensitive Encrypted, Mac OS Extended and Mac OS Extended Case Sensitive Journaled. For modern Macs, APFS is the right choice. It's optimized for SSDs, offers better performance and works best with current versions of macOS, which is why it's selected by default. Leave the scheme set to GUID partition map and then click Erase. In a few seconds, the drive is ready and you'll see the new SSD appear on the desktop. And that's it. The dock is fully set up 
and your Mac Mini just got a serious storage upgrade. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you are not. If you have any questions, please drop a comment. I will be happy to answer them. I will see you on the next one. Until next time, take care.